and let's say we make another invoice, create an invoice. So we made a sale, someone wants some guitars or they're gonna order some guitars we're imagining over the phone or something like that. This is gonna be for Jones Guitars. So we already have that customer set up. We're now selling the guitars, the sales side of the transaction as opposed to the purchasing side. I'm gonna hit the plus button to bring it up one date to 117.23. Invoice number two populating automatically because it's, it's populating through the system. Let's do it net 30 again. That's gonna be our standard thing, meaning this is when we build the client and we expect to be paid in 30 days from that time frame. After that, it will then be late. We're gonna say we sold them a G-I-S-U-A, -I Gibson USA, one of those. 380 times one, it is taxable. And then we have an ELP once again, and we sold eight of those at 500 times eight or $4,000. So note the system picked everything up just by the item. So to do the data input, all we need to know is who we're, who the customer is and, and what the item is that they're purchasing. And the system will help us to generate the transaction, help to calculate the sales tax, record all this information onto the financial statements. What will be the transaction? It's an invoice. Therefore, accounts receivable is going to go up by the full amount, including the sales tax, $4,599. The other side's going to go into revenue, the revenue account assigned to it by the item, not including the sales tax, though. It would be for the $4,380. Then the sales tax is going to go to a payable account, which is a liability account, increasing the payable, which we're going to have to then pay in the future to the state and to the, the, the locality or whatever. And then inventory is going to go down by amounts that are not on the invoice, but the system knows them because we set up those amounts in the item when we created the item, that being the cost. And the other side is going to go to cost of goods sold, which is the expense account that's going to go up that we needed to consume in order to generate the revenue, the expense account related to us expending the inventory to generate revenue. We also have sub ledgers for the accounts receivable, which will change for Mr. Jones here or Jones Guitars. And we have a sub ledger for the inventory that will decrease the, the units there for the, for the Gibson USA and the Epiphone.